Hi, it's Miss Adrian with Herrick District Library back with another preschool story time. This one, yes, it does involve a train. I will teach you a song all about trains and we'll do some moving. I'll teach you a way to roll your body uh, and it goes along with a song that involves a lot of puppets, a lot, a lot, like 10 puppets and it will help us count backwards. We will also find out who might be hiding in our puppet bag. I'll give you a hint. They are puppets. Is that a good hint? Maybe not. <laughs> so we'll figure out just what type of puppets are hiding in our puppet bag today. Now I like to start off by singing a hello song and this hello song involves some sign language. We'll say hello friends, hello friends, this is friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. I did tell you, we have a train today. So this song is based on a, a very popular song. You might know it. And it's also a featured song on our July early literacy calendar, which you can come to the library to get. There are tips and songs, of course, on it and books that you can read each month. And you'll find them in the children's area. So You'll find them by Big Red at the North Branch where I work or upstairs by Swimmy uh, in the children's area at the main library. So we are going to be basing this song off of the song Bingo, the one about the dog. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O. There are one, two, three, four, five letters in Bingo and five letters in this word. It's the word train. T-R-A-I-N. Just like the train behind me. It works out perfectly. So we will sing our very own version of the song using the letters T-R-A-I and N. And I used lowercase letters here on purpose. A lot of times you'll see capital letters. I like to use lowercase uh, because when we read and we're learning how to read, these are the letters we see mainly on the page. When you see a word, usually it has lowercase letters in it. So it's really great to help practice these as much as we can. So the song goes like this. Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train. Oh, T-R-A-I-N, T-R-A-I-N, T-R-A-I-N. Oh, yes, it is a train. Oh, we have a lot of trains around us in Holland, Michigan, don't we? So many trains. So this T, I'm going to add it to our train behind us. And now, instead of saying that letter T, we're going to make a train sound. We're going to go choo, R-A-I-N. You ready? Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train. No, oh, choo, R-A-I-N, choo, R-A-I-N, choo, R-A-I-N. A-I-N, oh yes, it is a train -o. And now the next letter, R, like Mr. Rob at the North Branch. R, okay, so now we get to do choo, choo, A-I-N. Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train -o. Choo, choo, A-I-N, choo, choo. A-I-N, choo, choo, A-I-N, oh yes, it is a train -o. Now the A, this is a very lovely letter. Uh, it's the first letter of the alphabet, but it's also the first letter of my name. It's Adrian. 
Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train. Oh, choo, 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 I N. Choo, 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 I N. Choo, 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 I N. Oh, yes, it is a train. Oh, yes. Now the I. Letter I is joining our train, which leaves only one open. The caboose needs a letter. The N. Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train. Oh, choo, 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 N. Choo, 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 N. Choo, 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 N. Oh, yes, it is a train. Oh, our train is complete. We got them all. There it is. But we get to sing the song one more time. And this time we get to do the choo-choos for every single letter. So we won't be saying any of these letters. Okay, here we go. We'll say the choo five times. Oh, what's that chugging down the tracks? I think it is a train. Oh, choo, 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 choo. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, yes, it is a train. Oh, yes. Now, you could make this song out of any word with five letters or any name with five letters. You could make it about trucks. T R U C K. You could do it the old fashioned way with bingo, B I N G O. But I think you could get pretty creative with this and you can change the words however you like. It's one of my favorite things to do, get creative with songs. Now this next song, I'm going to make you move a little bit. I like to do that. And this one is going to help, uh, help our bodies feel a lot of different things. We are going to roll over the song I'm going to teach you is all about rolling over. And to roll over, we're going to lay on our backs and we're going to stretch out all of our muscles and clench them. And we're going to rock back and forth using just our muscles in our tummy. So that's what's going to rock us back and forth until you roll over and then you'll roll back the other way. It's kind of hard to do. So let's try it together. So we'll lay back on our back. Okay. And then put your legs out straight. Put your arms out straight and rock. Ooh, there we go. I rolled over and then roll back. made it back. So this song is all about rolling over. Uh, you can continue to roll over as we sing this song, or you can join along with me in singing it. I will tell you it is hard to sing and roll at the same time, but if you can do it, let me know. It's, it's a little hard for me. I can't do it quite yet. I think I need a little more practice. So this is where we get to bring in our puppets, which we'll be doing some rolling over. And this song is all about these puppets hanging out and cuddling in a bed. So we'll have our duck down here. Our, ooh, we have an owl. One, two, whoop. And then we have a bumblebee. Three. So we have three animals so far. Four. Got a little kitty cat. And then we have oh, a ladybug. Five. A mouse. Six. And an elephant. Seven. And. Oh, dog eight one two three four five six seven eight to get to ten we need two more 
a monkey, nine, and the last one is a caterpillar, 10. So we have 10 animals and they are all squeezed into a bed all together. And here's where the rolling comes in. This is the littlest animal we have here, a caterpillar. Those are pretty small. Some can be this big. In our song, this little one, he likes to roll over. And what do you think happens if we've got a full bed and he wants to roll? Uh-oh. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over. Uh-oh. And one fell off. Oh no! And then there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Whoop! Now how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Oh no, poor Bumblebee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do you think he's gonna say now? There were seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. There were six in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Uh-oh. Didn't quite make it. And now there are one, two, three, four, five. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Bye-bye, Mr. Mouse. And now there are one, two, three, four. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Oh. Now we have one, two, three. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Now there are one, two. Ooh. Do you think there's enough room now? There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Uh-oh, how many are left? There was one in the bed and the little one said, I'm lonely. I'm lonely. So what do you think they did? So they all rolled back on and they found a way to share their cozy, cozy bed. There we go. And they all got to be snuggled up together. So that's a fun one to sing 
Uh, if you can, while you're rolling, see if you can practice and do that. It's tricky. I'm warning you. It's hard to do when you're actually doing the rolling. Uh, that works a lot of your muscles. Now, I want to find out who is hiding in our puppet bag here. In our puppet bag, we have a little rhyme I'll teach you. And we use this to find out who is in our puppet bag. And it goes like this. An oink, a moo, a cockadoodle-doo. Who's in the puppet bag playing peekaboo? One, two, three, and I'll give you some hints. Okay, the first animal in our puppet bag. It lives in the water, it swims, it is a type of fish. This one is gray. What do you think it is? They're pretty cool. They have some big teeth, lots of teeth. What is this? It's a shark. Ooh. Okay. So the first puppet in our puppet bag is a shark. Now we'll see who else comes out of our puppet bag here today. All right, let's do our rhyme. And this time when we count, let's try counting in Spanish. Do you know how to count in Spanish? We're just doing one, two, three. So it'll be uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Okay. And oink, a moo, a cockadoodle-doo. Who's in the puppet bag playing peekaboo? Uno, dos, tres. Oh, this one I talked about in one of my first story times here. This one, it flies and it starts off as a caterpillar. Mm, kind of caterpillar, and it turns into a butterfly. Here's our butterfly. This is actually a monarch butterfly, and monarch butterflies like to eat. Do you know what they like to eat? Milkweed. That is their special food. So monarch butterflies. So we have an animal that swims and an animal that flies. I wonder what else could be in here. Maybe something that doesn't swim or fly. What else do animals do? Hmm. Let's do that again and we'll do the Spanish counting again. I liked that. So we'll start our rhyme. An oink, a moo, Who's in the puppet bag playing peekaboo? Uno, dos, tres. It does not fly and it does not swim. This is a big animal and it likes to live on land. It's very big. This one is brown, it has a tail, uh, it has hooves on its feet and it gallops instead of running. We call it galloping. What is this? It's a horse. We've got a horse. Yay. Here's our horse here. Now to wrap us up now that we have figured out that our puppet bag contained a swimming animal, a flying animal, and an animal that very much likes to stay on land. We're going to say goodbye to our friends. And we do that the same way we say hello. We will say goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. You ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time.
time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining me and I hope that you learned some songs and some things today that you might try out on your own at home.